Hey everyone, I just finished watching the newest Puppet Master movie, Dr. Death. Now, when I first heard that there was a new Puppet Master movie, I wasn't really the most excited. The last couple of Puppet Master movies really haven't been very good. Uh, the last one was Blade the Iron Cross, and it was pretty dull for the most part. The ending is pretty cool. We get to see Blade in a fight, and... He's utilized pretty well, but other than that, eh, not a very good movie. Then there was a thing called uh, Bunker of Blood or something that was like just a big clip show. Then there was that stupid Littlest Reich movie that just... What even? But, and so yeah, then there's this, Dr. Death. Like, of all Puppet Master characters, I definitely wasn't expecting to see him get his own solo movie. And... I was kind of uh, a bit apprehensive about it because I was like, did they just pick him because of his name and his look? They thought they could make, like, a cool slasher movie out of it or something, make a quick buck. But after watching it, no, there was some love put into this movie. Pe the people who made it did, like, they understood Puppet Master. Although there is, like, one really big problem I'll talk about at the end of the, at the, end of the video. But yeah, for the most part, this is a really fun movie. It's a really good slasher flick at the beginning. The characters are likable enough. And, I mean, I can't even remember the last time I watched, like, a recent, like, horror slasher movie. And I actually cared about the main characters. Like, there's characters that get murdered. And I'm like, uh, I kind of thought they would live. <laughs> From the very beginning, it's been kind of a tradition in Puppet Master that... There's going to be a lot of stock footage used from previous movies, and thankfully this one keeps it to a minimum. There is, like, no stock footage until the very end, and even then, it's just a recap of who Dr. Death is. And one of the really cool things is that there's apparently a plan for a follow-up to this, or possibly more follow-ups, bringing back the other retro Puppet Master puppets. That'll be really cool. So now I'm going to get a little bit into some spoiler territory here. Uh, the plot of the movie is this girl comes to this retirement home and witnesses some uh, bizarre deaths. And there's also this weird puppet that's uh, around. And at the end, and here's the spoiler, so skip ahead a little bit if you don't want to be spoiled. She knows who the puppet is. I won't spoil how she knows, but and her plan is to eventually bring together all the Retro Puppet Master puppets. So, yeah, definitely gonna be a sequel. And I looked it up, and apparently there is another Puppet Master movie in production right now. But it isn't a, another Retro Puppet Master movie. It's a Leech Woman movie uh, called Furnace Leech Woman. Yeah, after she gets burned in part two, apparently she survived that, and she's getting her own movie with cool badass burn scars um so yeah uh hopefully that movie is on par with this one and really good oh yeah the thing that was weird with this movie that i was going to talk about there's a weird thing that's never explained in every puppet master movie the puppets aren't really the bad guys well except in the little strike but screw that movie the puppets will do evil things if the puppet master the one who is the master of the puppets is a bad guy who's evil with some kind of uh, evil intentions. And this one, though, I don't know who it was. I have a theory about it. Now, at the beginning, Dr. Death is chained up in a trunk in an old guy's closet. And the old guy's having a nightmare about Dr. Death. And my theory is that this guy is the last puppet master Dr. Death knew. And this guy, he found Dr. Death somehow and was using Dr. Death to kill someone, or do some kind of evil deed. And some, and maybe, like, he turned around and he was like, oh, this is kind of a bad thing I'm doing, and uh, he was, he didn't understand maybe, that, or maybe Dr. Death was going to go after him next, because he was evil, or, or I don't know exactly what the story is there, but anyway, the guy dies, and so now Dr. Death is without a puppet master and just blindly killing people. Or possibly, like, and this was another thing I was wondering about in the movie, They when they flash back to Retro Puppet Master, 
maybe the guy that became Dr. Death wasn't such a good guy in life. I don't know what was going on in his personal life. We don't see much of that in Retro Puppet Master, so maybe this guy was actually a big scumbag and maybe he was a murderer. So, or maybe the puppets are beginning their own, make their own choices. Maybe he was a good puppet at one point, but now he's decided he's going to be a bad puppet. He's going to be a murderer. So yeah, uh, really, like, highly recommend this movie if you're a Puppet Master fan. This is such a breath of fresh air for the Puppet Master franchise after so long. Uh, it's been a while since we had, like, a really good Puppet Master movie. So yeah, definitely recommend this, pick it up, and also uh, look forward to the Leech Woman movie and potentially more retro Puppet Master movies. I know I'm looking forward to that. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.